got the best team of the week player. There's another board. Oh my god. Oh my god! So what is going on everybody? Today's video is going to be a pack opening video on NHL 18. EA came back from their holiday break and they released a couple of new things on the market here. A Rare Player Plus pack, which has been a reoccurring pack for the last couple of weeks and months or so. There is these two new 94 rated milestone, Mark Recchi and Dave Andrzejczyk, for getting inducted into the Hockey Hall of Fame. It's a shame that they couldn't add Paul Korea or Solani. I guess they don't have the rights to add them to the game or the two players didn't want to be added to the game. Either way, I'm not as disappointed as I have been with the release of cards with these two because they are a higher rated card. They look really sick and I would definitely want to try them out. All these flashback players that are getting cards, like 90 rated cards that are lower than their other cards, I'm not, uh, I don't know, I just don't like them as much. I'd rather see them release like a flashback, like what they've been doing with Saku Koivu or Gabrick, like cards like those, those are sweet. Gabrick's flashback card is one of the best cards in the game, and I tried out Marc Messier and Johnny Busick, and they just weren't as good, so I'm... I'm glad that they're finally releasing some pretty cool milestone cards. There also is a Braden Holpe, Sidney Crosby, Roberto Luongo, and Sergei Bobrovsky primetime, along with the Evo players, along with the Team of the Week, and the Movember Montreal Canadiens players that they've released there. I have 21 packs. I had originally opened up uh, about 7 packs, and then realized that my camera wasn't on, so that's cool. But uh, one of them was a 75k pack. I got Tyler Sege and a first rounder collectible in them. So I'm going to open up one here with coins. Uh, error code. Yeah, okay. Wow. I love it. I'm going to save these two gold November players for the end of November in case they release a whole bunch of cards and then I can uh, get a chance to get two of them there. I'm also going to save the team of the week because Victor Hebben's the only player I really want and I might not get him. And uh, here's the 75k pack. So I will open up this one. I actually have another one in the back of the packs there. So I'll save that one for later. But 75k pack. Let's start it off with something cool here. Tanner Pearson. Okay. Ryan Kessler would have been cool a couple years ago when he was high rated. There's a mustache collectible. We're looking for three or uh, eight rare players. So we haven't gotten anybody above 85 now. There's Ryan O'Reilly. Wow, that was brutal. That was garbage. I'm going to save the Movember collectible, but there's the other 75k pack. I'm going to open up some 17k packs and see what we can get. There's a skip here, and uh, if I see any m milestone cards, I'm going to just flip out, and we don't get anything there. I think I'm going to go through all of the gold plus packs, and then I'm going to save all the big ones for the end and make it like a super monster ending, and if we get anybody good, it'll be towards the end, so we'll have to see. There's a Bo Horvat. Not bad. Uh, not great. As I've been saying, Dylan Larkin and Marlow. These have been quite awful. I'm guaranteed 60 gold rare players in those rare players packs. So hopefully out of one of those. Oh my god, there he no way! No way! 89 Edmund! That is insane. Oh my god, there's a first rounder para collectible and a gold collectible. Holy crap! And Pecorine! Oh my god, what a pack! Pecorine, gold collectible, first runner collectible, and team of the week, Victor Hedman, who is a beast in this game. Six foot six, he's gonna be a monster on my D pairing right there with Chara. Oh my lord, what a pack! That's amazing! I was just saying we weren't getting anybody, and they go and get 89 Hedman, which is ridiculous. I got the best team of the week player. There's another boy. Oh my god! Oh my god! No way! Oh my god! Jonathan Tays is Evo, which sucks, but back-to-back, high-rated players in Tays and Carlson, that is phenomenal. Oh my goodness, back-to-back -back amazing packs. Holy crap, that is insane. Carlson and Tays. Being in the same pack is one thing, but literally side-by-side -side is nuts. Can we keep up this luck right now? Oh my goodness, I'm not going to skip it. Skipping it wasn't working. Clearly, going through it one by one is. Can we go for a third times the charm? Big pull pack here. Let's go. Where are my rares? There's an evil collectible. That's not bad at all. I do need six of them for a player. But uh, And there's a Barzal. Okay, team of the week and an evo. So I don't know how much the evolution cards are going for. But it, it, a new set comes out on Thursday. So I might just keep it till then. But... Evolution Collectible, Carlson, Taze, and Team of the Week, Victor Hedman. Man, this is going well. 289s already, and an 87. Well, 287 should be count second as well, but uh, he wasn't on or he wasn't on the camera, of course. But holy moly, this has been good so far. 
I'm uh, looking to keep up the luck here. Maybe by the end they can reward me with one of the new milestone cards. That'd be awesome. Where are rare players? There's Arvidsson, Corey Peary, and John Carlson. Okay, well, not good there. Really not good at all. Blake Wheeler, okay, 86. Uh, he's having a phenomenal start to the season. But uh, I wish his card was a little bit higher rated. Where are rares? Cam Ward and Provorov. We've gotten three, four or three, three or four Team of the Week players so far. Barzal, uh, Provorov, and Victor Hedman. So that's pretty sweet. I wish the um, Team of the Week was a little bit better. Provorov's only 85, I think. But still, not bad. Better than pulling like one of the uh, lower rated ones. I think Barzal was only 77 rated, which is not good at all. What are we going to get? There's a Petri. So like a special card in every pack is, is what we seem to be getting here. There's an Ekblad. Where's our other player? Did we get all of them? Oh, there's Ehlers. He's pretty cool. I'm going to keep him. Maybe I'll put him on the uh, on the team. I don't know yet. But um, Petri, I already have him. And he might actually uh, be quick sell value. So I'll just get rid of him. We've kind of fallen off the map a bit here. There's the, uh, the coach glitch. Right there, Wormhead Man. Uh, we got Michael Grandin off the start. There's a first milestone collectible. I wish you could do this set more than once, but obviously you can't. Sadine and who's another rare gonna be? Rad Radim Verbata. Oh, Chara, legend. Legend in the making. Um, it'd be really cool if you got both Sadines in one pack. That would be sweet. I'd consider that a pretty cool pack. All right, so one more gold plus remaining here. And then it's on to the huge ones. Huge, huge, huge. They're really quite, quite, quite humongous packs. And I'm really looking forward to them. And uh, hopefully we can get somebody good in this one. Thomas Hurdle. Oh, there's a Matthews. Okay. And Sadine. I, oh, there's a first milestone. Cool. We, I was just finishing talking about how, imagine if you got both Sedines in the same pack, but we just uh, got two of them back to back, which is pretty cool. And I think Henrik was in the last one, unless that was Henrik, I don't remember. But I, I'm pretty sure we got both of them right there. But here we go. This is a 80k pack, 80k pack, 150k pack, 80k pack, and then a 75k pack. So a lot of coins worth of value here. Can we get a return bonus maybe of about 300k? That would be pretty cool. I'd consider that a win. Riley Shea and still not on the Penguins there. So far out of these five, nobody I really want. What else are we going to get? Jordan Nolan. John Gibson. Rasmus, a milestone collectible. Another one. Uh, David Backus, Turris. And Sedin again. Sedin, that's like the third Sedin we've gotten. My goodness. I'll keep Rasmus. I think I might need him for the Buffalo set anyways. But other than that, 75 keypacks. Not too good. Not too good. Usually they're okay. Well, I guess it kind of varies. I mean, sometimes they're brutal. Sometimes they're good. I'm going to save the 150 keypack for last. We'll go through these 80 K packs here. 20 gold rare players. Can we get something good? I'm going to... Okay, so there we go. Nothing good at the start. I'm gonna do the bio one and see what we can get. Sadine again, man! What the hell is going on? Okay, there's a Baxham 87. Not bad. Strawman, Maroon, Hannafin, Sakara, Koivu, Barry, Victor Hemman. No! He's Team of the Week! We got his Team of the Week one already, but that's 287s in one pack here. Phil Kessel Legend, Jake Gardner, uh, Vasilevsky, Stasny, Rio Hansen's okay, and I think we should be nearing the end here, yeah. That's a decent one. Uh, I already have Kessel, but I'll keep the 287s. I don't know how much they're actually going for anymore. The market is complete and utter garbage. So, let's just do a little recap of what we've gotten. Team of the Week, Headman, Taze, Sege, Carlson. We just got Baxter and then another Headman, and I think that's basically been it. A bunch of collectibles and stuff. The Evo collectible I'd actually consider like a really good pull because they go for a lot and they're also really valued on Thursdays. Still haven't gotten that milestone one. Not one milestone player. The Crosby would be awesome to get. The 94 players would be phenomenal as well. I don't see it happening, but we'll see here. 85's galore. At least if we get like an 88 or 87 or above, I'll be okay with these packs here. Uh, we don't seem to be getting anybody right off the bat. And is that going to be it? Yeah, that was horrible. <laughs> not an, anyone above 85. Not even 86. Not even 86. Goodbye. See you later. And here we go. Two remaining here. Please let this, let this rare plus player pack be better than the last one we just had. Come on. Come on. You know what? The player bio thing works. So let's do that again. Andrew Shaw is currently a Movember card, so that sucks that we didn't get it. There's a Clef Bomb. David Savar. Oh my god, McDavid! No way! Alright, 89 McDavid. He isn't or he isn't Evo, which sucks. But either way, we got McDavid 89. I'll take him. He is sick in this game. His uh, base card is really good. And anybody else. 
I'll uh, just go through it. There's a Tuka Rask, and uh, I didn't see who else that was. I think it was an Anderson. But a base card. Uh, yeah, it was Anderson. Base card, Connor McDavid. That is cool. That's my first McDavid pull. Well, base McDavid pull. I got his Team of the Week player way at the beginning of the year. But uh, other than that, that's pretty sweet. Now, on to the big one here. 150k pack. I'm going for 88 or above. Anything 88 or above, I'll be happy, to be honest. Kucherov, Kane, anybody like that, I will be happy. 88 or above, or like a couple of 87s, I will be okay with that. Let's see what we get here. Or an Evo Collectible, that'd be cool. But, uh, please give me some, like, one good player. There's a Mustache Collectible, another one. Another one, another one. Oh, come on. I really want, a, like, a big player here. There's another. Oh, yes, 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 yes. We got one. Patrice Bergeron. Oh, my God. Evil Evolution Bergeron. I don't know if he's going to get that many good cards throughout the year. He is currently an 88, so he must have gotten a boosted card. I guess he got, like, a milestone. He did get a milestone. So, that is really sick. I'm going to keep him just in case he gets a couple of milestones or something like that. There's a gold collectible. I forgot about the Panarin. I uh, didn't really talk about him because I was looking at the Evo Evolution uh, Bergeron. There's another gold collectible. But, Evolution Bergeron, I am okay with that for sure. My goodness. November collectibles galore and gold collectibles. Holy crap, though. That is so good that we got a good player there. Evolution Patrice Bergeron to end off the video. Perfect. Perfect ending. Couldn't have asked for a better ending. I said I wanted an 88 or above, and by that I pretty much meant like Kane or Kucherov or someone like that. Evolution Bergeron is 20 times better than that for sure absolutely amazing so that's gonna be it for the video if you guys did enjoy this one make sure to hit that like button comment down below your thoughts and opinions on the video if you are new around here don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next video